And now we have a cotangent term, which is the final trig rule that we haven't talked about, we haven't applied. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Uh, it's in a fraction, so it might be a little confusing, but we just have to realize that uh, a fraction is just simply a coefficient multiplied by another term. So if we pull this out, negative one-half times cotangent of x. So dy dx equals negative one-half times negative cosecant squared of x just by trig derivative rule. So we have a positive one-half cosecant squared x. And there you have the answer to that question. So just like every other derivative rule we have learned or we will learn about and apply, uh, the trig rules are fairly simple if you just stick to the basics and definition and apply them um, directly. Thanks for watching educator.com. Uh, we will move on to the next lesson.